Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the all-new tooling release in 2017 of the Foos Ford FD100 Ford Pickup. This is an all-new tooling release in 2017 of the 1956 Ford FD100 truck. It was stylized by Chip Foos and has an interesting bit of history. The original truck was owned by Chip's father and then he did some drawings for it and uh, his father customized the truck uh, according to Chip's drawings. And this is a great representation of that custom build. Now there, it comes in 78 pieces molded in white, clear, clear red and chrome. And it's um, made for a skill level 4 which is um, kind of bit an intermediate builder because it takes glue and paint to assemble. Now there are um, water slide decals that also include uh, a wooden bed uh, decal and interior details with uh, the badging for the car or truck. Now the instructions are uh, you know the Ravel book style and this is a specific build kit so there won't be any excess parts. Overall when you're done the length is about seven and a quarter inches long three inches wide and two and three quarter inches uh, tall. Here are the contents of this kit and some people would call this an open box review and pick up every piece and try to describe them but I'm just gonna say I open the box and here's all the parts to save you a lot of time. Now we're going to use some liquid cement uh, for most of the constructions sometimes super glue for strength and white glue for uh, installing clear parts. Also, please remember to follow the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines when using any of the products that you see here in the review. Here are the decals for this kit and as you can see they're very colorful and the registry is good. There's even a decal of the model drawing. And I would suggest for at least the larger um, decals that you use some of the aftermarket uh, setting solutions that will help it to conform to the contours of your model and stick well uh, just to make sure that they nestle down in and look like they're painted on. We'll start with the motor so grab these parts and the decals that go on the motor and assemble the block, the heads, the intake, oil pan, timing cover and the transmission pan. Now paint the unit aluminum and the valve covers, uh, coil starter and air cleaner uh, top are black. The belt is rubber and aluminum and the carb is gold. The distributor is a gray color and then the air cleaner is orange. Add the decals to it and install the parts. Now grab the suspension and chassis pieces, the headers here, and, and we're going to um, paint some of these or assemble some of this before we paint. So assemble the rear suspension and install that onto the frame and then the front suspension. Now paint the entire frame with the suspension pieces flat black. The brakes are steel with black calipers and the exhaust is uh, steel with aluminum mufflers and steel colored headers. The drive shaft is steel colored too. Add the brakes in place and the remaining suspension parts. Now install the engine and the drive shaft and add the headers and exhaust into place. There are different sized tires and rims for the fronts and the backs so make sure that you get those together in the correct um, uh, orientation with each other and they're also directional so they'll need to be assembled with that in mind. So add the rims to the tires and then press and roll the tires on a, a flat sheet of sandpaper to give them a worn street used look. Now insert the appropriate rims into the fronts and rear tires and get them ready for the next step. Grab those tire uh, and wheel sub assemblies and insert a metal axle into the back of the rims uh, for both for on one of each for the front and the rear and then place them into the front suspension uh, slots and then uh, put the other tire into place on the other end and squeeze those together. At this point you'll have a nice rolling chassis uh, upon which we can build the rest uh, of the model and she's coming together quickly as there have been no mistakes or flaws in this kit to this point. Get these parts out and assemble the radiator and paint it flat black. The hose is rubber with an aluminum cap and install the radiator and hose into place on the front of the frame. As you can see here, it's pretty good positive location so just get that together and we'll move along. Get these parts out for the interior as we'll assemble the tub next and 
even though it's simple, it's a really nicely detailed uh, set of seats and side panels. You'll find the uh, copyright script on the underside of the floor pan, and that should be removed, uh, scraped off, and sanded smooth. Then paint the floor pan uh, flat black along with the firewall, and the seat and the door panels are gray, and add the decals into place, and detail the switches on the panels flat black. Now assemble the seat, the door panels, and the firewall onto the floor pan. Get the nicely detailed uh, interior dash components out and we'll, we'll put those together. So paint the dash, the steering column, and the wheel flat black and add the decals and highlight the dash with some silver appointments. Now install the wheel, the column, and the dash into the tub in the slots provided. Pull these parts from the kit as the cab is assembled next and note that all of the mold seams will need to be removed you know, before you can paint. So go ahead and use some fine sandpaper, 6 to 800, uh, to remove any of the parting line seams that you find on the body. Once you've got those uh, cleaned up and, and smoothed out, look for any other blemishes. And then we're going to install all the cab parts into place. And once that's done, wet sand the cab with some 1,000 grit sandpaper to remove any final blemishes and clean it up. Then rinse it off and let it air dry. I wanted to stick with the custom theme and use a satin paint for my uh, my model. So um, I it's kind of what the new muscle car or muscle trucks are looking like, like nowadays. So I used flat black primer on the body to give it that sheen and we'll cover the rest of that with uh, clear later. So with a semi-gloss clear coat in place and then dried overnight, we can begin to uh, put the decals on. And I strongly suggest, especially if you use this bed decal, to use some of the uh, setting solutions available. And then go ahead and decal the rest of your model and uh, we'll get that ready for the next step. Now assemble the bed to the rest of the uh, rear truck frame there. After the decals have dried overnight uh, and settled in well, you can give the uh, entire body here with the decals a clear coat to seal them into place. Use some of the future floor polish liquid and dip your window glass into that, a tub of that, and let it wick off and dry. Once that's done, you can paint the visors and install the rear view mirror. Now we're going to use some white glue to go ahead and install the windows into the cab of the truck. Now take the, uh, the truck frame, the rear section there, and we're going to add it to the uh, uh, rest of the frame rails. You can find some location pins there on the step sides uh, of the, for the frame rails to install that uh, to, to each other. Scrape off any paint that uh, is in your gluing contact areas. Uh, locate those and then go ahead and, and install the interior tub to the chassis at this time. Now slide the cab over the interior. Uh, it fits pretty snugly in place there uh, with the interior in position and once in place the cab will line up on the frame and fit tightly. The engine will fit properly and the engine bay is seen if you've got her squared up. Gather up these parts and paint the marker lights on the grill with some clear orange then add the headlights with some white glue. Install the grill, the bumper, the door handles and the fuel cap with super glue. Now grab the parts for the rear bumper and using some white glue, uh, scrape a little of the chrome off there and the inserts and set the, um, the red taillights into place and the insets there in the rear bumper. I wanted to personalize my model, so I printed out a copy of my logo into a license plate frame, sized it up, and then using an inkjet printer, I uh, just printed it out and covered both sides with some clear cellophane tape. We'll glue that into place on the rear license plate area and then go ahead and glue the bumper into place on the rear. Now your custom Foos truck is complete and hopefully it turned out the way you like it. Well there you have it. Now overall this was not really a difficult build. In fact it was an excellent build. Um, there was just some parting lines that needed to be addressed but everything fit and was located very very well. Um, overall, uh, fit and finish were excellent for the kit's parts. I had no assembly issues whatsoever. And 
there's not much to add to this as it's already a customized truck. Um, it's like uh, Ravel's trying to get into the uh, resin uh, business here with some of their custom kits. The parts count was fairly low which speeds assembly so this was a rated uh, 4 skill set uh, but I think that that's merely because of the small and larger decals. Uh, other than that this is a really easy truck to build and it looks great when you're finished. I'd buy one and Put it on my shelf. We hope you've enjoyed this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook though and always at our website www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks!